it's Stacy, your unique presenter, and we're going to talk today about brows. Now, when I was growing up and in my 20s and 30s, no one did their brows. You only did your brows if you had no brows. And as you can see, I have pretty decent brows. They're not quite as full as they used to be, but um, that's the new thing now is to have your brows done. And Unique has just come out with two products to make it a lot easier. Our Precision Brow Liner and our Precision Brow Gel. And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Our liner comes with a little tiny pencil. Can you see that? Very, very small. And on the other side is a spoolie, it's like a little comb. So we're gonna start with this brow. And what you do is you take that spoolie and you brush your brow down. That's kind of crazy, huh? Then you take the pencil and this lets you trace the outline of your brow. You're able to see it now. Don't draw it on. Do little short, quick movements to mimic the hair. Then you take the spoolie and you go up. So you can see the underneath the brow the line. And same thing, little short, quick movements. And I'm sure you've all heard this trick, where do my brows start in? Well, you put on the side of your, your nose and up, and that's where the brow should start. And then the side of your nose, the corner of your eye, and across, and that's where the brow should end. So, then you just go in and you fill any little sparse areas in. Our brows frame our face and can make a huge difference if you don't really have great brows. Okay, and then you take the little spoolie again and you just kind of comb them back into place. Okay, next up is our Precision Brow Gel and this is the color medium as is the pencil. We also have a light for our blondes and strawberry blondes and we have a dark for our darker headed ladies. And this brow gel has a little, it looks like a mascara wand but it's a little teeny tiny. See that? And it has fibers in it, just like our mascara. So if you have any sparse areas in your brow, it's gonna fill those in. And you just do it like you would, just brushing it out. And there you go. I've got an on fleek brow and a not so on fleek brow. Y'all see that difference? All right, so if you have sparse brows or if you would just like to give a little more pop to your current brows, let me know and I can hook you up. And remember ladies, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Thanks y'all.